So we're gonna go over these items here that I think are the absolute budget list and the things that you're gonna need if you wanna get started. And I'll do a breakdown of all the costs of each item so you'll know exactly how much you're gonna have to spend. And everything we covered today, I'll link it down below in the description, as well as some links to help you get started and catch up as quickly as possible. So the first thing you need is glass, and I've got two examples here. The first one is gonna be your cheapest option, maybe a free option. You can use glass coming from an old picture frame or find some glass from Craigslist. You can get your glass from there for cheap or even free. It's actually a good idea to practice on some of these first, then move on to something that you can buy from a local store. So a store-bought glass would be something like this. You can see the price here. It's $8.70. So roughly about $8 to $10 for something about this size. And of course, you can go higher with different types of glass and different textures or something more special that could cost a little bit more. But typically, you're looking at about $8 to $10 for a sheet of glass. So with this glass here, you can easily make a project like this which requires just a little bit of glass to make this. So something simple like this, you can just buy the one sheet and try it out and see uh, what you think about it. So the glass cutter is next, and this one is a very simple glass cutter. So this is your basic straight cutter. When I started, this is what I used. I've completed many projects with it. So if you're on a budget, this is only about six to $7, pretty much one of the cheapest ones out there. So after scoring the glass, you can either break it with your hands or you can use something like this called running pliers. So this will help run the score on the glass and then it'll help break that glass on that score line. These pliers luckily aren't too expensive. They're only about $10. So you can pick them up easily and they will help tremendously. And I wouldn't work in stained glass if I didn't have one of these. Now, once you've cut your glass, most of the time it's gonna leave these sharp edges and some glass burrs that you're gonna want to file down. What I would recommend you use is something like this called a carborundum stone. This is a grinding stone that you can file down those sharp edges. So if the run on the glass wasn't that nice and clean, then you could use something like this to help out without getting something like a grinder, which is obviously a lot more expensive. So one of these costs about $15 versus a grinder, which pretty much starts at about 100 bucks. Now, this isn't used to grind down the glass or to shape the glass. That is what you would use the grinder for. So if you're just doing simple projects with a few pieces, you can actually get away with one of these. So next, we'll have to wrap our glass pieces with some copper foil tape. And I'm using the 730 seconds of an inch width, also in the silver. And I suggest the silver because there's no patina that you have to add on to this. So you can finish your project by leaving everything in silver. So that will keep the cost down. So for beginners, start with a 730 seconds of an inch. It's gonna work out pretty much for most of the glass that you're buying. So before we get to the soldering, we need something called flux to be put onto the copper foil. And that helps to flow the solder onto the tape so everything bonds together. So this is a must and a bottle of flux costs about $10. So for the solder, we're gonna use something called a 60-40, 60% tin and 40% lead. Just remember you need to get a solid core 60-40 solder, nothing else. Any combinations of that is gonna give you a harder time when you're starting out. And also if you don't get the solid core, you're gonna have a lot of problems uh, when you go to solder. This one's a one pound roll and it costs about $20. And finally, one of the most expensive things that you're gonna buy is probably this right here. This is the soldering iron. This one happens to be one of my favorite ones, but also it's not the most budget friendly. It is one of the best ones out there for the price. This one is $70, so I understand it is very expensive for somebody on a budget. If you're just dabbling in this and you're not sure if you want to invest um, in something like this, there is another model called the Hako. 503 but that one to me seems to be the most budget-friendly soldering iron out there right now I don't have it here and I can only show you this one that I have um, it is coming from Hako and I trust the Hako brand so you're looking at $15 for that one and $70 for the FX 601 so that's pretty much it let's tally it up and see what we've got so for glass I'm pretty much gonna say uh, that it's free since you can get this from an old picture frame, so you don't have to buy glass right away when you're starting out. So we'll say glass is free. And next up is the glass cutter. So this one is about six bucks, five or six dollars. So let's throw that up. So for the running pliers, I would say this is something pretty useful. Um, it's gonna cost you about $10, and uh, I think it's gonna be worth that price. And the carborundum stone that uh, we talked about is about $15. Start off with this, and then you don't have to dump all that money into a grinder just yet. This tape is also something pretty cheap. It's gonna run you about $10. Then we've got the flux that you're gonna need. I like the liquid flux, um, so these run about 10 bucks. And then the solder itself is gonna cost a little bit more. This one is gonna be about $20. And of course the soldering iron, uh, which 
This is not the one we're talking about if you wanna go low budget. Let's put 15 bucks for that if you wanna go that budget route. Go for that one if you're cash strapped, um, but I would highly recommend upgrading uh, when you can to this model here. So the total comes out to $86 for everything that we had just talked about. But to go even cheaper than that, you can get rid of the running pliers. I would not recommend it, but you can actually score and break the glass with your hands. And so that only works on certain projects, but I would highly advise against it. But you'll save yourself $10 if you can figure out a different way to break the glass. Not recommending it, but it's been done. And maybe the last thing you can get rid of is the carborundum stone. So if you were to score the glass and then break it cleanly, then you don't need to use anything to grind it. Now, I'm not saying that it's never gonna happen. You can actually break your glass nice and clean, but it's rare that that happens. I'm not saying that you're gonna need one all the time, but when you do need it, you're gonna be happy that you have one. Uh, but depending on the project, again, uh, you might be able to get away with that without having the carborundum stone to grind anything. So you can knock off $25 for those two, and which brings us to $61 total for the tools that you absolutely, absolutely need if you were to start stained glass.